Welcome back, you two, to another episode of Cadillac Chronicles. And uh, today we're gonna do something simple, but something that's very necessary, especially if you got an old, you know, old school Cadillac and you're still riding on, uh, you know, original factories. You're gonna want to stay tuned. All right, so you want to see more of that? Stay tuned. Whew. All right, so we have a lot of work to do on the Cadillac. Still, I actually went and made a list of it you know the other day so we got a lot of content to shoot a lot of things to work on the vehicle before we start getting to that customizing phase like the higher end stuff which is a lot of stuff you know what I'm saying but these are little things that need to be done to the vehicle to make sure we got to get the inside of the vehicle little details on the outside of the vehicle and the engine get everything tip top to make sure you know we have a smooth ride you know what I'm saying? So all that must come first. So stay tuned for all that. But before we get this video started and go any further and we get to the, the, you know, the cleaning, you know, what we're gonna work on, make sure you hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch all of this content when it drops, smash that notification bell, all right? And uh, make sure you follow me on social media, where I am most active and you can catch all the behind the scenes and all the extras that doesn't make it to the vlog okay so you can follow me I'll leave all that link down below in the description below you can follow me on Instagram right there and uh, let's get to let's get, let's get to work on this car so as you can see we're still rolling on factories you know what I'm saying and like I said these are pretty clean but I haven't cleaned them in a while so we're gonna do an old school way of cleaning them the way my pops taught me how to do them and on a budget too so we're gonna clean these wires and these hubcaps up and see if we can make them make a little spiffy so gotta get the back too of course we need our tools you know what I'm saying gotta pop the cap and another little wrench now first things first we gotta pop that center cap off you know what I'm saying and then take that middle lug nut off it's not the original but we still make it happen so we'll just take that off and after that we can start popping that hubcap off nice quick and easy front ones off now we gotta head to the back and make sure we get that one off the same way we did this one easy peasy lemon squeezy as you can see these are the old school factories you know what I'm saying they look pretty clean despite not being clean in a while if you get what I'm saying these are old school, you know what I'm saying? The original hubcaps. And these are cool and clean to roll on. You know what I'm saying? As long as you keep them clean. These got a little scraping action on there, but they still look clean. But we're going to give them a nice good shine, and I'm going to show you guys how and on a budget. These right here are Brillos. Now, you can get SOS pads, you know what I'm saying? As long as they're steel wool with the soap. These will work magic. So Brillo and SOS pads. Get those, and this is what we're gonna use to get these clean. Now, of course, we gotta wet these down and soak them up and make sure we get all that dust, the cobwebs, you know, anything that's been sticking to them, because like I said, the car's been sitting a little bit, and you know, we gotta do front and back on both, you know what I'm saying? Get them right, nice and prepared. And then, and then, and then we're gonna hit them with that SOS pad. You see? Uh huh, there it is. Now we're gonna hit them with that, and you can start wherever you want. I preferably like to start from the inside out. You know what I'm saying? Start from the center and work your way out. Make sure you really get in there as best as you can, depending on your hand size. Like I have big hands and big fingers, so it's kind of hard to get into those little crevices and you just gotta try to get it the best you can that's why you gotta get a sos pad or or brillo because they have a lot of you know wool you know steel wool to get in there real good and and get in there where you can't if you got that problem that i have you know so do one side and then jump to the other side now i am not personally gonna go ahead and do all four for you because two i think is enough even though i did do all four you know but i'm just gonna do two of them just so you can see and you know just show the example, you know what I'm saying? But start from the inside, work your way out. But you could do it whichever way you want. There's really no wrong way. So let's get these cleaned up and then you can see the after fix or you can see the, the end product when I get done with them. Wow. 
Now, this is the end product. As you can see, they look a whole lot better than they did before. I did all four of them for you. Now it's time to put them back on. Now, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? Easy to pop in. Just got to get that, that, you know, the hole in the nozzle. Boom. Just like that. And then get that lug nut in there. You know, it's kind of hard, like I said, big hands. But once you get it in there, tighten it up. It'll make sure it's secure and in place where it needs to be. Now we jump to the back and make sure we get that one in the same way. Find the air nozzle, get it through the hole of the hug cap and pop it in and boom, just like that. Just like that. You ever check these old school covers out? Look, paint's coming off, man. Or the redness, I guess paint you could say. It's coming off the back. Gotta clean these up real quick too. But hey, wear and tear, man. These things are almost 30 years old. Now, give them a quick rinse, like just like we did the hubcaps, because you know, they need some love too. Every part is equal here. And get that pad, go ahead and scrub the front. You know what I'm saying? Get the back every little little crevice we can get these should be a lot easier because ain't no spokes and do the other one the exact same way give it a good scrub get as much of that little chrome as we can make sure we look nice and shiny on both sides you know gotta 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 show love to every part of the vehicle give them a quick rinse nice and wet you know what i mean and we continue to the rest of the vehicle you know what i'm saying after we rinse this up yep good to go give dry them off and now we had to pop them in it's real quick boom just like that now we move to the back and do the same thing find a space and pop you know what i'm saying pop just like that and we done yeah we done baby hell yeah looks a little bit better and just like that we done youtube now that's just a simple way of doing it. It's not detailing per se. It's just to get them, you know, without having to get a bucket, soap, water, you know, without having to get all that extra stuff. You just get one of those SOS pads or one of the, the Brillos with the soap already in it. You're good to go. And you could toss them right afterwards. That's the beautiful thing about it. And it gets the job done. <coughs> now, take in mind, these hubcaps are about 30 years old, give or take, you know what I'm saying? So. It's never going to be perfect, you know what I mean? Plus, I got big hands and big fingers to try to get up all of them creases. So, it's a very tedious job to detail these things. But, when it comes to other rims, it's a lot easier. These are just hubcaps, but they still help the car maintain a nice, sleek, old-school Cadillac look. Clean, you know what I'm saying? But, it is some work to keep these things clean and detailed. But, if you've enjoyed this video, you enjoyed the content, you like the Cadillac, you know, detailing we just did not detailing but the cleanup on the hubcaps a little quick tip for y'all if you guys have that situation you guys could even do this on regular rims you know what i'm saying but this is for the hubcaps if y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all hit that like button smash that notification bell and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch all that good stuff i got a lot more coming we're gonna build this we're building this cadillac from the ground up this 1990 1992 cadillac fleetwood brome and it's gonna be bomb by the time we finish so if you want to see what it's gonna look like stay tuned to the journey and make sure you're subscribed now i appreciate y'all's continued support uh make sure you subscribe make sure you follow me on social media the links will be down in the description below and you can follow me on instagram right there where i am most active and i appreciate y'all and stay make sure you guys watch the 100th episode of one man click tv i'll leave that linked somewhere up here so you can check it out we did a first mukbang so make sure you check that out man but i appreciate y'all till the next time this has been cadillac chronicles